Well, boys and girls, let's get straight into it. AST Space Mobile announced the summer launch date of Blue Walker 3 for direct to cell phone connectivity testing. Spoiler alert, the launch should be around the 15th of August. Around that date, the Blue Walker 3 test satellite is scheduled for launch into low Earth orbit from Cape Canaveral in Florida. If that is all you wanted to know, well, there you go. Thank you for stopping by. However, let's also discuss what this actually means for ASTS. Let's dig into it. De-risking event. Give me a couple of seconds to paint a picture, to give you context. ASTS is trying to build the first and only space-based cellular broadband network. Meaning in the future, we should all be able to connect to their satellites anywhere from Earth with your smartphone as is. You will be able to use your smartphone as you normally would as if it were connected to a 4G or 5G tower. But in fact, that tower is now in space. And well, since ASTS is actually one of the first ones ever to really attempt this, the technology still needs to be proven. Previously, they have proven that this whole thing is at least possible with their Blue Walker 1. But that satellite was basically a fancy smartphone in space with the cellular network array down here on Earth. Now they wanna have the smartphone down here on Earth, but the fancy radar dish up in space. And that, that is the context. That first satellite, the test that actually proves the ASTS technology works, well, that one is called Blue Walker 3, and it looks a little like this. And now, just yesterday, ASTS has finally confirmed that it plans to launch its Blue Walker 3 test satellite from Cape Canaveral during the week of August 15, 2022. Of course, the launch date is subject to change, since we are literally talking about rocket science, delays can and most probably will happen. What is important for you to know is that this bad boy of a satellite is supposed to go up around the August 15 timeframe, and that ASTS has invested roughly $85 million into the success of this humongous flying pancake. Additionally, ASTS has the full experimental licensing required to test their satellite from five different continents, starting their testing at their test sites located in Texas and Hawaii. And perhaps just as importantly, ASTS investors and strategic partners include companies like Vodafone, Rakuten Mobile and American Towers. So that was the news report but we still haven't really talked about what this means for the future of ASTS. And well, it means one big word, de-risking. If ASTS can convince their current shareholders, as well as potential future investors, that their technology actually works through Blue Walker 3, that will significantly decrease the risk going forward. And with that, I mean the risk of execution, since that is the biggest risk surrounding ASTS for now. The company isn't really risky in the sense that it could go bankrupt any day now, since back in March 2022, the company was still sitting on an enormous cash position of around $250 million. The company is however risky in the sense that it might be over promising. Just maybe this whole space-based 5G thingy is too advanced for our current caveman technology. Of course, of course, I don't believe that, otherwise I wouldn't be an investor, but that is the main risk currently holding down the ASTS share price. Because if they're able to get their constellation up and running, the sky would be the freaking limit. Pun intended. We are looking at a potential free cash flow of billions and billions of dollars per year by the end of this decade. If we compare that to the current value of the company, you can easily tell that this company might just be a hundred bagger in the making. So even though ASTS has all that potential, the reason the company isn't value any higher is well the risk we have been talking about in this video, the risk of execution. And if ASTS is able to get their satellite up in space without any catastrophic failures and are able to run all their tests without too many problems, well, then maybe the value of ASTS could grow a little towards that 100 backer dream this year already. However, I believe the true wealth of investing in ASTS will be created once the Bluebirds go into space. And of course, the Bluebirds are the satellites meant for actual commercial use. Even after Blue Walker 3, 
ACTS will remain risky, but then more from a cash flow perspective and not so much from a tech one. However, once that day comes, the day we get actual revenues at ASTS, that day I do believe we'll see a significantly different figure attached to the ASTS share price. But until then, it will be a bumpy ride. So buckle up, enjoy the roller coaster ride, and hopefully, if you guys are confident, I'll see you all by 2025. And hopefully by then, the only regret that we have is that we didn't buy more. That was it from my side today. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Peace.